Right, we've had a bit of a wander. Some pretty wildflowers everywhere. Seen a group of people walking over there. Just walked through a bit of a very overgrown area. And this is a, a place where the potholders can stay, I think. It's like a little kitchens and, you know, groups of people, I think, stay here. It's, you know, it's like a meeting. It's like a, a place where they let people stay. I don't know who exactly, but so I think they're mainly potholers. <sighs> of course, all this is slag heaps from the. You can't see it so much, all this grass on it. But underneath this, all this black slag stuff from the mining. In a minute, we'll come out on a little track. And then we come out on the road before we make our way across some fields towards Ebber Gorge. Which, because uh, it's only 12 o'clock, or is it 11 o'clock? 12 o'clock, we are going to do some exploring. Like I said, I've done this quite a few times over the years and I've actually wondered when it's, it's the best time to come is when it is like, well, wintry, watery time, when everything's died down. That's when you'll see the Arctic, you know, bits of ruin and that sort of thing. It was a very busy place and there's quite a history written about it. Is there? Yeah. There's quite a history to this place. But like a lot of places, they get overgrown and, and forgotten. Like anyone walking here now might and didn't know this was the minor area. They would miss all the stuff. Every little building like this one here has got a history. In there has. Yeah. That's got a history, that building. Yeah, no, I think if it had been two o'clock in the afternoon, I'd probably think, oh, I don't know if I'll do it now, but because it's only 12. Um, so anyway, we know this, this is a very busy, dangerous road. Not necessarily busy, but um, fast, put it that way. Little road, little country, nice and quiet and peaceful, but fast. Some lovely little cottages along here, and I'll be walking, see that wood over there? There's a path to the side of the field. I'll be walking it all over there. And the only reason I'll change direction is if I've come across a field with cows in it, and they're too close for comfort. But I haven't got to walk far, see that? I've got my laces undone. See that traffic light down there? I've got a walk to about there. Right, I've got to do my lace up. I'll wait till I... There's a little uh, pulling here. I'll just do my laces up. Little miner's cottage, I expect that was once. Or farmer's cottage. Right, over and out for a minute. Right, well, we've left the busy road. There's the little Fair Lady Well Cottage, it's called. Big name. And of course, over there on the hill, you can't see it from now, but that's where the pretty burrows are up there. We're carrying on our walk as planned. I, got, I still got, can change my plan um, if I want to, a little bit further up, across about three, four fields. If I want, I can turn around and come back. Um, I'm just seeing how I go, because uh, that, otherwise I, I commit myself to Ebber Gorge and back round that way. <sighs> One minute it's warm, then it gets nippy. There's that little cottage there, look. Take a picture, Shell. <sighs> yes, 
yeah there's at least three or four uh, four or five fields to walk across and they do tend to have electric fences so what I'm hoping is if there are cows further up I will be able to walk on a path safely I had a bit, half a banana the other half had gone a bit funny so I had to throw it out I've got some cake in my pocket but as everyone knows who follows me I do get a bit of indigestion so but I, but I get hungry as well I also get hungry Just imagine, once upon a time, that little cottage down there that would have been a quiet little track you know, where the cows and everything was probably walking around here and then the car got invented, you know there still might have been a, a route along there for horse and cart Yeah, I feel like checking my jumper off, but when I get up here, it could be cold. But I might stop at the next gate, have another drink, and I might take my jumper off for a bit. Let my arms have a bit of, bit of air. Oh, I might do it now. Gorgeous here, isn't it? And I was right up over there earlier. And walk down for the minories. <sighs> yeah, I thought I'll keep a sand bay for the weekend. I got go. I'm thinking I'm going to a baby shower on Saturday. So. Well, folks, don't want to bore you. Right, folks. I think this could be the third field. Get further away from. You can't. You can't see the pretty barrows now, but that's the hill up there, right up. There's the wood, and I've been walking the other side of the electric, the proper side, to keep in the rules. There's a walk around there, and there's the aerial to the big aerial at Wells. Big Mendip aerial, it's called. Provides us for our televisions and other things, I expect. So I'm just going along here. This is nice not to have to try not to fall into an electric fence, which was quite a narrow walk there doing that, I must admit. This has opened up a lot. So far, no cows either. So this would be the... I think this is the third field. <sighs> and it's turned out to be a lovely sunny day. It's warm, but it's it could change. What happens, I mean, it's um, half past 12 now. So handy just looking at a watch again. It's half past 12. So we've got all afternoon. So I'm, I am going to do the upper gorge. But because it's so overgrown, I don't know if I'll remember the way through some of the small tracks I used to follow. Because it's been a while since I've done that. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it yet. But 
normally, but all I want to be able to do is come back sort of this way a bit because um, what it is, I want to go back that way. Uh, not as it's a circular. It won't be exactly the same. It's a parallel path across a field, across a couple of fields there. It takes me back, and then I follow another parallel path back to Pretty. So back near the church. It's a nice, it is a nice walk this one and do you know what, what's good is that I don't have to worry about a bus. I've hardly mentioned it have I really? I'm only mentioning this now with joy because I can amble along here even if it was eight o'clock at night it wouldn't matter. I can just amble along. I remember doing this walk in the, within the last year or so no, 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 last three years and I had to get back to Wells which is still quite a hike from here and uh, I had to really speed the walk it was like the walk and the bus overtook the fear of missing the bus you know what I mean so now if you hear me mention the word bus it's usually because I don't have to get one but I am going to get one still for some of the other things I want to do because to be quite honest it cost me £7.50 to park the other day or £6.50 rather then if I mean Julian put petrol in for me diesel though I said you were talking about another £5, £10 pound of, you know whereas I don't pay anything uh, when I have my bus pass you see that's the bonus but with the 126, they just haven't put enough on. There's huge gaps. It's just not good enough. Now that field there, you can walk right round it if you wanted to. If you just lived out here and you want to go for a walk round and get a bit further over that way, there's probably a ways further on where you can walk if you go over there. But where have we got a stone style to cross now? First one of the walk. They got a lot of these in Somerset. I'll just take a picture of it. And then right across those fields over there, there's a parallel track right across that I'm hoping to come back down on the way back later after doing a little bit of Ebber Gorge. Okay. Right, I'm going to put the camera down so you can see me get over the stile. You might be able to see me. Not a soul in sight. I feel so blessed, everyone, to be, have this privilege I noticed all the fields have got, maybe it's for fire reasons, they do that, have these big gaps. Could be. But I feel so blessed to be able to walk here in this beautiful, beautiful day. With beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sun, stars and, and, and clouds. So, I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? And you can go all around the fields. It's quite nice, isn't it? To think you could just go right around the fields if you wanted to. Like that one. And there's probably other routes leading off them. You know, you could make your way across country like that. Yeah. So that was good. Oh, it's just such a lovely view. And I've got my picnic. There's a track up there. I've got my picnic. I've got a bit of cake in my pocket, but like I said, <sighs> the only hills I'll have is when I get to Ebber Gorge, really. And like I said, I haven't decided yet. 
not knowing where cows are over there. Not knowing where the cows are, you don't want to suddenly go so, go into a territory you've forgotten where you're going because you haven't done it for a long time and it's all overgrown and then realise there's cows. See? I mean, my daughter was telling me she, she's got all these fields behind her where she lives and she says sometimes children do not tease the cows but they shout at the cows children other people's children and she said what well, there was a nasty event not long ago where someone found somebody the farmer or somebody to say there was a child and it was being attacked by the, the a herd of cows I don't even know if that child survived but basically what happened was the farmer went out on his trike bike his quad rather and he, he, he first of all he couldn't see anything but he noticed the cows were making a very unusual noise that he hadn't then don't normally make and, uh, anyway he managed to get in pick up the little boy only a little boy five or six years old put him across his he had to put him across his um, knees and drive as fast as he could because he said the cows were chasing him on his bike they weren't after him they wanted to kill the little boy because that was cows were calves and um, and that only happened not, not, not long ago and that's not far that's uh, High Bridge Way so I expect all the farmers around here are aware of it now and wherever there's public pathways now, they've really got to put the fence, they should really, by law, they have to put an electric fence up. But of course that little boy shouldn't have gone in that field. But kids will be kids. His mother wouldn't, he wasn't with adults when it happened. I don't know the full story. But hopefully they'll get round and all the kids will, well they won't do that again. Ooh, it's a big bang. That could be Cheddar Quarry, by the way. I know it's a long way off, but that sort of sound would travel. Because that's what that sounded like, demolition. Half expect to see a deer hopping around in there. Isn't it gorgeous? Like I said, there's a track I want to go back. But because I've come this far now, I really feel I want to walk in the gorge um, and it's a nice day I don't really think I can not do it but isn't it tempting when you see things like this oh I wonder where that goes you know what I mean it's very tempting isn't it oh I want to go down there it must be another way <laughs> Oh, there's two people in front of me. I just let them move on. I would love to eat my cake, but I'm scared to because I get indigestion. Because it can take ages getting rid of indigestion. Two blokes walking very slowly across the field. I'm going to let them go before I follow. They're not carrying rucksacks or anything. They could be farmers. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah, I've walked quite away. Oh, right over there, right over. And I'm enjoying every minute of it, and I feel blessed. I can feel the nice, lively breeze, warm, lively breeze on my, on me. And I'm in this place where the grasses are swaying. I can see some more people, people out over there with dog. They might be doing a different way, a different type of walk. Somebody's running. Um, it's a good track to train on, isn't it? If you think about it, if you're a runner. I'm not going to go in there, that field, until those blokes have got up through that next gate. Aren't you? No. There is another way I can get through. But I want to do that on the way back. It's down there a bit. You go down there 
and you wander through the farm. But that's the way I should be coming back. That's the way I should be coming back. Right, we're just going to stop and have a drink of water here. We'll just move out the way, wait till those men have gone through the next gate. Over and out for now, folks. This is Sheila on the 11th of July, 2024. My granddaughter will be 21 on Saturday. She's in Greece having a holiday and they've been celebrating England. <coughs> she put a thing on her phone yesterday of them celebrating England's win. We're all with young people having a good time and lovely weather, blue seas. I'm so glad that she's having a nice time. I have sent her cards and a little bit of birthday money to help out. And uh, I've got a lo lovely present for her when she comes back. If I'm not aware myself, I've, I've, I've got, I'm giving everyone something, a little bit of something that I've got, little bits of treasure. Over and out.